Thanks for joining me today. I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new performance enhancements in Corel Painter 2020. Corel Painter 2020 features significant performance updates for the brush engine. The new acceleration engine utility automatically chooses optimal performance settings based on your computer's hardware. This allows stamp brushes to leverage your GPU or graphics processing unit, which can greatly improve brush performance. There are also many CPU performance enhancements throughout Painter 2020. We can access the acceleration engine from several different places. You can find it under Performance in the Welcome Book. It can also be found in your Preferences under Performance. And you can find it in the Properties bar under Advanced. And then look in the Performance panel for Brush Accelerator. I'm going to go ahead and run it from the Welcome screen. I want to make sure to first close any unnecessary applications that might be running in the background, and then I can click on Optimize Now. And as you can see, there is a canvas here, and it's creating some marks automatically. I want to make sure that I don't press any buttons on my keyboard or do anything else on my computer until this test is finished. Once the test is completed, you will see your score, and the score gives you an idea of how well your computer can run Corel Painter. So I have my overall score, which says it's excellent. And then next to that, I can see how each component contributes to the performance of Painter. Beneath that score, you have a score that says whether or not you meet the recommended specifications for Corel Painter. And then next to that, you have more detailed information about each of the components that contribute to performance. So basically what this says is that my system can take full advantage of what Corel Painter has to offer as far as the performance updates, and I should get pretty good overall performance. If I were running this on a different system, I might have fewer cores, I might not have a nice video card, and I might have less memory, in which case these wouldn't be green cylinders, they might be yellow or red. That would also mean that my score would be much lower, and of course that would affect performance. So this is an opportunity to gain an understanding of what you can do to upgrade your computer to make Curl Painter work faster. So basically what I've learned here about my system as it pertains to running Curl Painter is that I could use a few more cores, and that that video card that I installed in my system is having the most impact on the performance of Corel Painter. Now let's close the test and let's go ahead and test out some of these accelerated brushes. I'm going to make a pretty big canvas. Let's say 4000 by 4000 pixels. I'm going to go to Window, and then I'm going to open the Search panel, and let's try typing in GPU. I'll hit Enter. Now this is going to show me a list of all the brushes that can leverage GPU which means that instead of relying entirely on your computer processor to make these brushes work faster, it's going to let your GPU help. So there's quite a few brushes here that can use this technology. Let's go ahead and select the first one, Acrylic Gel Wash. I'm going to make the brush as big as I can, 750 pixels, and let's do a test stroke here, and you can see that it actually works pretty fast. Now if you're familiar with older versions of the Corel Painter, then you might already have an idea of how much faster that was, but let's take a look. Let's go to Advanced, and we'll look in the Performance panel. We can see that GPU is checked, as well as AVX2 and Multicore. So this particular brush is able to take full advantage of the performance enhancements. We can disable GPU, and we can get a feel for how it used to perform. Go ahead and do some strokes here, and you can see it starts to get pretty laggy. It takes time to catch up. You can really see the difference here when we compare them side by side. It's really a huge improvement. So I don't have time to go through all of these GPU brushes, but you can feel free to experiment. You can also search for Multicore and AVX2, and you can get a list of the brushes that have those performance enhancements. And if you have pre-existing brushes that you want to be able to leverage the GPU, all you have to do is just uncheck Disable GPU, and that will essentially enable the GPU if that brush can support it. Now, not all brush technologies can support GPU. It's only the stamp brushes. But if you give it a try, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how much faster these brushes really are. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check out some of my other demonstrations of Painter 2020's top features.